What the fell is the agency here? I'm back for another Lego Marvel Avengers 2021 set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing the third and final mechs for this year for the lineup, and that is the Thor mech armor. It's set 76169 8H7 Plus. It has 139 pieces in one minifigure. Now, I got this set at Target on March 27th for the lineup. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigure himself. So here is Thor. Now, this is the only, ex well, yeah, the only figure in this mech, and he looks really nice. So he is not 100% exclusive. This look is the same from the last year's Thor, which it is, but he does not come with a cape right here. The torso printing and the legs right here, since my thumb is blocking the legs, yeah, this is the same one. They keep reusing the same exact pieces for him. And he does come with Mjolnir, the small version of Mjolnir, which is really cool. Okay, so it is the same version of Mjolnir that we've gotten as usual for these Thor minifigures uh, all these years. So here he is without Mjolnir. We set that aside. So the torso printing is literally the same, like I said. And we do get these Thunder eye pieces and not pieces, printed eyes, and I should say. So it is the same one because that is from the MCU Thor. And we do get the Ragnarok helmet again. But this time, it's in that silverish color. The one that we've gotten from the 2010s is a darkish color. So here's the one from the Ragnarok sets. This is the one from the Ultimate Battle from Asgard, since I want to show you guys the color comparison. So the molding for the helmet is the same, but... Lego changed the different colors. So this is the darker one. And this is like a silverish look. Or in that gray look. So this is the helmet that when he fights the Hulk. In that Sakaar Arena battle from the past years right there. Yes, the past couple of years. So I'm glad they brought that helmet back. But they made it a silverish or grayish color right there. So yeah, that looks really nice. And like I said for the torso and legs. The printing for the torso is the same, and the color of it is the same. It's so as the arms right there in that silverish color right there, as you can see. And also, we do get the same back torso printing. Once again, right here, as you can see, which is really nice right there. And we take off the helmet. We do get that same first face as usual. So, I still like this door, but the look is literally the same. The only update is the helmet which is that same Ragnarok helmet, but they put it in a different color for this version, which is that silver or grayish look for the lineup. So that is it for Thor. And here's his mech right here. So as you can see, it's still cool. He's still fine by me. Well, it is a really nice looking build in my opinion, to be honest. So anyways, here we have the whole front part. We have the mech. And the brick belt version of Mjolnir, which is the gigantic version for the part of the mech right here. So we do get some tan colors, some black, and some silver and red right there. And we do get that Nexonite piece right there on the chest. So that is a printed piece, not a sticker right here. And we do get that gold bar for the head piece right there, which is really nice right there. Making more Thor-ish right there. And we do get... These stickers right here, that is part of the mech right here. So they're not printed, as you can see. So here's the front and the top part. So yeah, that was the top part right here. So, and this is the front part, as you can see, which is really nice right there, which is really cool. Here's the side of the mech. We do get another sticker on the side hip on the left right there. So this is like some... Asgardian look so this mech is made straight out of Asgard right there which is really nice and we do get the side of the arm and we do get some side parts of the leg which we do get a little clipper right there so you can see here's the other side of it but this time we have the side with the giant version of Mjolnir right there as you can see we do get that same sticker right there which is pretty cool looking and this is what the side of the leg looks like when you move the arm right there. And this is what the back of the mech looks like. And I love those red pieces. They're capturing the Thor cape look. So that is really cool. I just love how they capture those red 
pieces as the cape right there for the mech, which is nice. And here's the bottom of the mech. We do get some studs and some other pieces right there for the feet itself. And also, we can take a look at that brick belt Mjolnir. So let me set my iPad down and let me put the mech down so we can take a look at that Mjolnir. So let's open up the fingers right there as you can see and let's take that off. And there we go. Now let me set the mech aside just in case I don't want to knock it off the table. So here is the brick belt version of Mjolnir. Now as you can see, it looks really nice and I just like how Lego did this right here as you can see. So it looks cool. I just like how they did that right there, which is really nice. We do get some stickers right here on this middle part and some parts for the power effects for it right there as you can see. And yeah, I like how they add that black Technic pin if you want to connect that hammer to the left or right hand if you feel free to. I love that silver piece right there, which is really cool. So here's the bottom of it, as you can see, which is really nice. And if you wanted to make it look like it get pulley Mjolnir, you have to take off the Technic pick. So here's the whole bottom part right there, as you can see. And it looks really nice right here. Here's the side of the hammer, which is really nice. Here's the other side. There's the back with these two same stickers. And here's the top. Now that is really cool looking. Okay? If you guys wanted to put it on the left hand, you can. So it has another Technic pin right here. So yeah, we do get another Technic pin right here. And it's easy to slide that in like that. And you had to clinch the max fist right there for the left and right. And just like so. And there you go. And now let's put Thor on that mech. Now before we do that, we see that black clip. That is for the regular size Mjolnir. You could put it like this or like this. So I just put it on like that. And also you can't put Thor in there. So easy how these mechs work. You had to open up the chest part, slide him in like that. Now that is how you do it right there. And as usual for these mechs, they do have articulation right here. So the arm fully rotates since they usually have ball jointed pieces. And also this cape part does flap right there. Same thing for the left arm right there as you can see. And yes, it can. This piece right here, yes, this arm is on a ball joint too. It could be two points at the elbow part, well kind of. And the wrist swivels, and we do get these fingers right there, as you can see. So that is really cool. Okay? And you can clench your fists like this if you wanted to. And we do get these usual wrist swivel pieces right there. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. So yeah, just like that, and it looks really cool. And the legs move forward like this, and it can go back. And also... It kind of do this blitz right there. And it bends two points at the knee right here. And it has ankle pivot side to side and foot articulation. Because like I said, they usually have these ball jointed pieces right there. And there you go. So nothing much for this set right there. But that is all we've gotten so far right there. So yeah, nothing much for this mech set right here. But that is all we've gotten so far. So overall, this is a nice looking mech to me in my opinion right here. So yeah, this is a nice looking Thor mech right there as you can see. To be honest, I still like it. So anyways, I love the build right there. Well, you do get two of them. The mech and the brick belt version of Mjolnir, which is the gigantic version. So yeah, it is really nice right here. And I like the stickers on the hip parts, the shoulder parts, and we do get that printed next one it's piece on the chest right there so yeah that is really nice right there so you can see it as for the thor minifigure it is literally the same one from last year so it is the same version right there from last year that we've gotten him from the speeder bike attack the helicarrier and that four plus loki set and also the only differences they changed up is they gave him that ragnarok helmet so that is the same piece as that one, but they changed the color for it. So this one from the 2010s is black, 
and the one we have for this year is in that grayish or silverish look. So, yeah, that is what they did right here. And the face print is still the same right here because that's the MCU Thor head right there that we've gotten before since 2017. But anyways, yeah, that is all we've got for that mini figure. Nothing too new and exclusive. Some pieces are reusing the same. So I still want the new characters and some old ones that need some updates instead of the same ones if you guys know what I'm talking about. But the Mac is really nice. I like how you can clip the regular version of Mjolnir on the left leg right there. So yeah, that is really nice right there. I love these red pieces for the cape right there, which is really cool. And the brick belt Mjolnir is awesome. I just like that. You can't put it on the left or right hand. Well, at the end of the instructions, you can put the gigantic Mjolnir on the right hand. So yeah, or you could just do whatever if you feel free to, if you wanted to put it on the left or right hand of the Mac if you wanted to. And the articulation is still great. And the look of that part is the same from the Miles Morales Mac, and so is the Thanos Mac. And even the Venom Mac, well, nothing much. Well, only just the Thanos and Miles Morales Mac because of that piece right there with the Nexonites part. So, anyways, yeah, that is really cool. You love the articulation. The minifigure does not excite me as much. Well, the part, which is the helmet right there, does, but still. And anyways, I love the stickers for the gigantic Mjolnir right there. That is really neat. So I just love how Lego did this right there. So anyways, this is a nice set to me in my opinion, but it is really nice. So this is the third and final Mac for 2021 for Marvel since I finally got this one, the Cap Mac and the Miles Morales Mac. So I finally got all three of them right here. But anyways, yeah, this is a nice looking set. Well, I'm surprised Lego only put out only three Avenger sets for this year, the winter and spring one, so which is this one, Iron Man versus Thanos, and the Cat Max. So, and we will get more Avenger sets, which is the MCU Infinity Saga ones that are coming this summer that I heard. So, we're getting the MCU ones, which is really cool, okay, from the Infinity Saga. But this is a nice looking set for $10. So, this is not much. Well, as usual for these mags, this cost 10 bucks so you had to spend 10 dollars on it so this is a cheap set only one figure one mag not much for 10 bucks but it is what it is so this is a really nice looking set for the lineup so nothing much to say but this is a cool looking set from lego in my opinion for the lineup so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that notification bell the same button look at the description and hulk smash that comment section down below you tell me in the comments what you guys think about this Thor Max set for the lineup. I'll see you later, alligator.